perhaps in that moment of naked vulnerability as you stand torn and wavering or sit in the rubble ready to cash it in, someone shows up. The unexpected happens. Something changes. Breath and life blow in like the wind, flow in like a river of life, perhaps from a place we know not where. And in that moment, we know we are not alone. The unexpected happens. The angels show up, taking care of us as we try to find our way. I don't know what you think about angels. I don't know what I think about angels, quite frankly. But somehow, they show up. Maybe in a word spoken by another, reassuring us, bringing clarity, refocusing us on purpose and calling. Maybe in the natural world of gentle winds blowing over you, eagles soaring high above, softly falling snow, peaceful waves when they rise and recede with predictable ebb and flow. Maybe in music, a memory, a song, a smile, a challenge, a surprise phone call, or that card that shows up in the mailbox, a happenstance meeting with friend or stranger. Somehow, from somewhere, in someone or something, angels or spirit, or the creating power of the universe, or the living Christ show up in our greatest need, providing for us what we may not even know we are lacking, protecting us from pending danger we may not even know is there, shoring up our weary souls when we thought, for sure, this time, we really were at the end of the dead-end road. The unexpected, sustaining us in the moment happens, And when it happens over and over and over again, we even begin to believe it, expect it, wait for it, even seeking it out when our need is intense and real. We need someone or something to rush in suddenly or saunter in casually, holding us up, putting our feet back on solid enough ground to take the next step forward in our wilderness journey, maybe even out of the wilderness, into liberation and freedom. Someone or something shows up to care for us, providing just what is needed in the moment, tending to us while we wander through our wilderness, supporting us until we walk out into the new day, all the while preparing us to show up, to be present for other wilderness wanderers in our midst. In our individual lives, we find ourselves in the wilderness often more frequently than we would want. Families have their own wilderness wanderings. Whole communities, and yes, even communities of faith, look around, discovering themselves in the midst of their own wilderness experiences. And it can be scary out there in the wilderness. With passing time, we can become pretty vulnerable. In our vulnerability, resisting the many temptations calling to us can be difficult indeed. But sometimes we have to be in the wilderness for a while, discovering who we really are, finding new clarity, realizing we don't have to be alone. In fact, we never really were alone because the angels are here just like they were there to take care of Jesus. However we imagine them, they're standing by, standing ready to move in when we need them most. It's just that sometimes we miss them because they don't show up in the ways we expect. Often they show up in the most unlikely of circumstances, in the companions we never would have chosen for ourselves, in the experiences we never could have imagined. But whatever and whoever has helped us on our way, every time we make it through the wilderness, we emerge stronger, more clearly discerning the world around us, more prepared to risk the next new challenge. 
more trusting of the forces and people and vision and that voice deep within us standing ready to get us through the next time we have to navigate rough terrain. The divine is ever present, revealed to us in many ways, even in the wilderness with its steep mountains and lonesome valleys, perhaps especially in the wilderness, as we climb those steep mountains and descend into those lonesome valleys. Sustaining spirit, sustaining power shows up. And even though each one of us has to travel our own wilderness experience, we are not alone. Powerful, transforming forces are standing by, ready to move in, ready to see us through. Thanks be to God. Amen.